Welcome back to Hannity. As we promised, so is he in or is he out? Here to answer the question, is he going to run for president in 2016? By the way, some are trying to draft him. The author of this brand new book, by the way, in bookstores now, on Amazon. It's on my website, Hannity.com. One Nation is the new book by Ben Carson. And all right, so I'm going to ask, that's the, that's the question. Are you considering a run for the presidency? Well, you know, it's interesting. I'm in about four or five states a week. Huge record-breaking crowds, very enthusiastic. What do you That's mean record-breaking? Meaning they tell you we've never had a crowd they, this big. They say we've never had a crowd this right. big. Yeah. And uh, that's always what people want to know. And people want to say, you got to do it. You know, somebody said to me in the elevator today, they didn't know me from Adam, you got to run. I mean, it's just everywhere I go. Um, and I think what people really are looking for is common sense and courage. And somebody who understands the Constitution and the principles of freedom, innovation, uh, social responsibility. Uh, and if somebody can come along with those things and really gain a lot of traction, I would be delighted. If, and if they don't, I would certainly give it serious consideration. So you will give it. Are you giving it? I mean, have you, I, I, like, for I, example, I, I remember, you remember Gladiator, one of my favorite movies. Yes. Marcus Aurelius uh, says to General Maximus, you know, will you not accept this great honor? <laughs> and he goes, with all my heart, no. Yeah. And then, well, what about Commodus, who was Marcus Aurelius' son? You've known since you were a young man, he's not a moral man. But do you feel, so are you saying with all your heart you don't want to do it, I, but I, you might? If, I, I don't, I don't want to do it. But if, if we're left in a situation where there's not, a lot of enthusiasm for anybody else. You'll think you'll get in. I would, I would never turn my back on my fellow citizens, even though, you know, I was hoping after a, a very arduous neurosurgical career. You thought you'd be on the golf course right now, right? <laughs> you had to give that, you, you, you gave a prayer to whether you should do the speech in front of Obama and to change your life. I, I do find it fascinating, though, just listening to some people who say, well, you know, he couldn't possibly know anything about economics, could know any. Oh, I mean, he, he's only a brain surgeon, so he couldn't know any of this stuff. I mean, we're the ones, we're the great wise ones. We know everything. I just find that pretty Maybe that's what we, well, the, 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 what an experience that Obama have. None, he was an acorn guy and an Alinskyite, a I'm, voting present. I would just say, whether I run or not, I'm very happy to have a conversation with those people. We'll see what good ideals they have. All right, we're going to watch it. The book is phenomenal. The story that you tell about that prayer breakfast is awesome in the book. Good to Absolutely. see you. you Dr. Too. Carson, that's all the time we have left.